Number one, always be creating educational videos and use the 80-20 rule. Educational videos could be about a topic in your industry that you want to share that you have expertise on. The 80-20 rule is about supplying 80% education, 20% self-promotion. You can apply this almost across the board now with social media. So you want to be educating your fan base, your audience, and whoever's following you 80% of the time. 20% of the time, typically in the beginning and the end, as you'll see in this video, you want to do self-promotion about your services. Let them know that they can contact you. So again, create educational videos, 80% of the time, 20% of the time, self-promotion content. When using video, tell a story. I got my start in video photography at an early age at five. I wanted to be a photographer. I often tell that story. It gets people connected immediately with me as a person not just a business and it lets people know that I'm human and it connects on an emotional level. This is great for addressing your values, your passions and engaging with people on an emotional visceral level. So be sure to tell your story. Be sure to utilize video for your conversion rates. So conversion rates are taking someone from watching a video or looking at your website to actually contacting you or becoming a client. So you want to be increasing conversion rates constantly. Use video in that way. It's been shown that over 40% versus just text alone on a website, video can increase your conversion rates to actually getting people to contact you or learn more about your business or become a client. So definitely use video to increase your conversion rates. If you have a tough concept or your product or service is not easily understandable, be sure to create a demonstration video for your product and service. It's gonna be much easier for people to see the product in action. We learn incredibly faster through visual media than we do by reading. So be sure to create a demonstration video for a product or service that can be a little bit of a tough concept for your clients or your target audience. Whenever creating a product or service video, be sure to address the problem that it's solving, especially if it's the importance of your product and how it's differentiated from the rest of the market. So be sure to create a video where people can understand the problem that your product or service solves clearly and addresses their issues, not just talk about your services collect testimonial videos. This could be shot on your iPhone, in the office, wherever you work. It is awesome for people to hear from your customers, not just from you, about how your process works, how your product solves their problem. So be sure to collect testimonial videos. Maybe it's a photo with voiceover. So make sure that you're documenting your clients and your customers who love that are advocates for your products and services. The next one is creating videos from your Google video. So Google offers Google Hangouts, YouTube offers live video capture. Make sure that you're recording your content. You can always repurpose the content, meaning use it for a different use afterwards. Then you can repurpose that content for another marketing objective in the future. Lots of people produce text blogs and photo blogs now. Try doing a video blog or vlog as it's called. The benefit of doing this is you can communicate your message again via video so much faster and people respond so much more to video than they do to photography or even text. So be sure to convert some of your posts or all of your posts to a video blog or vlog. This will help people engage with your business and your services on a visceral emotional level. Did you create a great PowerPoint presentation recently for a project? Be sure to actually put a voiceover or actually record your video as you're seeing here to a blog or a slideshow that you did and turn it into a more engaging content piece. Something that we're really proud to offer, develop yourself as a thought leader. We have a whole separate video on this. You don't have to write a book or travel the world at conferences to be a thought leader. What you have to be is be bold, experienced and innovative in your industry and then start talking about your ideas and start sharing it as early as you can. Be professional, be clear, earn what you've learned and talk about new ideas to push your market forward. Thanks again, I'm Jared, take care. Let me know how we can help you.